It probably did. I, I never, I ain't never listened to his music. I never oh listened to his music. Before. I used to listen to his music when I was younger. Yes, you did. I listened to his music when I was younger, but I never really. Yeah, used to be friends back in the day. Yeah, what I'm saying. No, not friends, but friends is crazy. I never used to Fuck. I'm steady kicking shit. I'm fucking around throwing my dick in fit. Cherishing my sound before they mimic it. Watch how they cop it, then they overlook me. Uh, Trying to scratch this pot, no overclick. Scratch down from the bands and rolls and have a dream riding a dog. And I know I'm chosen. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy back in the stand with a new video. We got this Young and Ace interview with DJ Academics. Uh, the link will be down below if you want to check it out for yourself. If this makes it to YouTube, because that nigga Academics be blocking videos, uh, reaction videos to his interviews. Feel me? I don't know why, but he do it. So this is on Patreon. I appreciate you and I thank you for watching it. If it's on YouTube, I appreciate you and I thank you for watching it. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. But we got this new Young and Ace interview with DJ Academics, man. I ain't gonna watch the whole thing, this bitch. Two hours and 46 minutes. I ain't got that in me. <laughs> you know what I mean? But we're going to watch some of it. Maybe 20, 30 minutes, bro. Part one, you want part two? Let me know you want part three. Let me know. You know how that shit go. But let's hop straight into it. Let's get it cracking, man. Let's see what the fuck this nigga Ace got to say. Hopefully not too much. Don't say shit, brother. I don't even know why you're doing the interview, but look. <laughs> To each his own, my boy. Record podcast, Woody Jack Academics in the building. I am here with hey, it's Woody Jack Academics. the said, most wanted, the most talked about. The most wanted is crazy. Crazy. And to be honest, the person who I'm in fear of his life the most at currently. In bro. Nigga, we not even 30 seconds in, bro. What the fuck is you talking about? Hip hop. Uh, Jacksonville native, legend at this point. It's real legend. But also, I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend, Young and Ace. Young and Ace. That's the right. What's going on with you, man? <sighs> like, be life, man. Zip, sipping on my drink and shit. This bitch getting me right right now. I'm, 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 this bitch got me right right now. Nah, well, first got the Don Julio right there talking about this shit. Get me right. Well, what that nigga act sipping that Espelon? <laughs> We had a special request. You had Don Julio Reposado. It's a drink of preference? Yeah. Wow. Every time I go somewhere, I be fucking with this shit. I go out to eat. I'm a little Reposado. Don Julio. Nah, spot. I ain't going to cap, though. Before that nigga Julio passed, that nigga Ace was on that shit, though. Because he put me on to that shit, though. That Reposado and Sprite. I ain't going to lie. He did put me on to that bitch, though. <laughs> you feel me? I be fucking with that hoe. And that was before a dude even passed away. Every time I go somewhere, I be fucking with this shit. I go out to eat. I'm a little Reposado. Don Julio Sprite. Me. The casual shit. That's probably, that's my like grown man shit. You don't strike me as somebody who drinks a lot. Like you, you don't get drunk. I don't, I don't see you as the guy who gets drunk. No, that nigga be. Drinking. I get drunk. <laughs> I, I say get, that nigga be drinking. Cause I don't smoke. You, you like you pop pills? I, I would think you 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 would do that. I'm gonna tell you why. Nothing. I would think you pop pills, boy. I smack the shit out you, boy. Let a nigga tell me. I think you pop pills. I think you do dope, nigga. What the fuck makes you think that? <laughs> what the fuck you talking about that nigga crazy boy i'm gonna tell you why because anybody who has gotten shot before mm. you know they got to give you a lot of pain medication and then that's how sometimes a lot of people get hooked but on when i got shot or whatever. I, when i got shot i went straight to jail they didn't give me no medicine what you mean no medicine they didn't give me no medicine you just had to like I just did. endure the pain i learned how to walk all over again i just bro i just i just learned oh my god i just learned like Yo, a, that's a crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I just learned like a fucking, like a fucking, uh, like, uh. God damn. I just learned. It, it doesn't hurt no more, but. No, like, no. Nah, I just learned like a month ago how to do push ups again. But I got a bullet. It's a bullet fragment right here still in my hand. This a bullet? Yeah. Oh my God. It feels like a bone. Nah, here ain't no bone. <laughs> Uh, this nigga act funny, cuz this nigga act funny to the bitch, boy. Fuck, dude. Yo, <laughs> one of the saddest. Anytime I see that video of you, like bandaged up and you're like rapping, you're like freestyling. Yeah. It it, it it makes me feel sad, bro. Like it, because you know, obviously you, you went through. Well, I do. It's like a lot of trauma, man. Like you know, you're in an incident where, um, everybody died but you, but you. Yeah. And every time I look at that video, I'm like. I see somebody who's still fighting, who's resilient, but like there's hurt, there's pain. Nah, for sure, it's definitely hurting pain and shit, but I ain't gonna lie, bro, my whole life just been crazy, so it's like, I be prepared for shit, and that type of, that moment right there, I ain't gonna lie, that moment right there made me like, change like literally everything about me. Like, 
the way I think, the way I move, the way I see shit, the way I go about shit, I changed everything, everything. So I'm really, I'm really like, on some crazy shit, it sounds crazy, but like, I hate the situation, but I'm kind of grateful because it made me who the man I am today type shit, the way I go about shit in life. Like, I ain't gonna, I was, I, for some reason, I was moving crazy that day. For some reason, I don't know. I ain't gonna lie, before, that day I told myself I was trying to live like a regular life. That's what I told myself that day. Really? Uh, that's what I just said. I did the video, the Fulio shit, because, you know, Shorty set him up or some shit, and I was like, that nigga, like, folks are saying Fulio just gave himself up to die. I don't think that's it. I think he just wanted to live a regular life, though, bro. Like, motherfuckers don't want to be looking over their shoulder. Motherfuckers don't want to be paranoid 24-7, though, bro. So sometimes, bro, you just want to live that regular life, though, bro. You want to walk outside and not have to look over your shoulder. You want to walk outside, go to the store, go to the club, go, you know, party, do what you got to do, and not have to look over your shoulder. But unfortunately, though, it costs folks their life, though, you know, so. Literally, what I told everybody around me. These days, like like for example, I, I I got bit by my dog. Um, he he got hit by a car, so like he was like drugged up. He came out of the hospital, didn't even recognize it was me. He bit me, kind of got a little bit of a scar, but that's a that's like a crazy scar. You have the bullet still inside. You. Yeah. When, when you're like brushing your teeth or like you get out of the shower and like you're looking at yourself and, you know you, you know you got hit eight times, right? Yeah. When when, when you're doing that. Do the scars that still exist on your body kind of almost like, it's like a sobering reminder, like, fuck, like, I've been through some shit. Also, probably make you, like, I ain't gonna lie, like, even now, I love my dog still, but, like, yeah, I, know, I, I know when he come out of the hospital, because I got to bring him there every week, mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm gonna let him chill for a good, like, couple hours till he wear off, because yeah. a scar is usually a reminder of what you've been through, but also how resilient you are. Yeah, not for sure. That's right? Nice. So yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes when I be looking at my shit, I get a little mad and shit about certain shit. I be, I be tweaking. I, I might get in my little thoughts and be tweaking sometimes. Like I, I just be getting on some. Well, I, when I overlook at it, when I overlook at that. Be like, oh yeah, nigga tried me. I ain't gonna lie. But it is what it is. What did you get shot? The other than your, your hand? That's my hand. I got shot in my, my arm. Wow. And I got shot six times in my butt. Though. Six times. But, but yeah. Oh well, <laughs> shit. That, that's that, that's actually that, that's actually probably a blessing in disguise, right? That's where all the meat is at. Pause. That was crazy. That was crazy. Yeah, I ain't. I'm gonna try to justify it, but that shit was still crazy because your ass were all the. You feel me? That's a lot of flesh. You know what I'm saying? So if there's a place you probably want to get shot, it's probably like you know, ain't no muscles, ain't no tendons, ain't no arteries, and you know what I mean? No. I still fuck that shit up, huh? Alright. I was trying to shield my I was trying to shield my brother and shit, so that's how I got shit right there. I was trying to shit him and push him out the car type shit. That's what that's how that shit. Wow. Did, by the grace of God, you, 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 everything still works. You, you don't yeah. you know, it's not like any failing um internal organs done. No, no, hell no. But I mean when it get cold it fucked me up. Why I can't be in the, that's why I don't even come out this way. When it really? gets too cold, my shit to get the moving and shit, make me stiff up and shit. Even when I'm in the car and I'm sitting down too long, if I'm sitting down too long and I ain't, my, my, my body will lock up. The, the, your nerves, like there's so much, like the human body is so intricate. Like the, the, the it's crazy. Man, that you get to the good shit, bro. No offense, but damn. Uh, like, you know, sometimes you have that bad feeling like, yo, some, something about to happen. No, I already knew, I knew it was going to happen though. Really? Yeah, yeah. Why? <laughs> you got a bad feeling? No, I got, I got a call. <laughs> you got a call? Yeah, it's crazy. Though. I don't know. Some, I mean, I mean, come on. Wait, what do you mean you have a call? You, so you got a call? Yeah. So, so, so the story I understand. You you went out to you went out to eat, mm -hmm. right? You, you were celebrating life, mm -hmm. and on the way back, you guys were in a car, and and that's when everything happened. Mm -hmm. You had a call warning you? Nah, I got a call like a couple weeks before. Okay, okay. Like, basically, people talking shit to you. I just got caught. I was like, but yeah, I got a week. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. You're lying. Really? All right, shit, though. But I ain't gonna go too deep on that. Though. It is what it is. How do you, how do you process that, though? I don't know. That boy shouldn't even say that shit. I won't even say that shit. I should be like, fuck it. What up? 
<laughs> yo, yo, that let me tell you something. That nigga shot out. That nigga shot out for real. What it, 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 it's, 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 it's crazy that, like, like I, I see you today and we were chilling even before we started this. Man, it, you don't seem that phased, man. Like, like I told you, I feel like I'm scared. I thought you were going to come in here with, ooh, with 40 people, and I expected it. And, 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 I, and I was like, yo, of any day you could come in here, today is a day is empty. This is mm. good. So I, I expected that. You didn't come with 40 people. You, you, you kind of, if I was you, I'd be wearing a bulletproof vest today. I can't wear what bulletproof vest. What the fuck, Anyways. Why not? Uh, they got some shit. They said I can't, I can't, the police told me I can't wear a bulletproof vest and I can't be in a bulletproof truck. Why not? Shit. Ask them. That don't even sound right, boy. <laughs> the fuck that got to do with them? That shit don't even sound right, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. We talking about the, the police and they trying to get your ass fried, nigga. Jacksonville, police and the feds. That doesn't make sense. That's what I'm saying. What the fuck is the logic behind that shit? That's it. And they say I can't have security. No, they didn't. I swear on my wife. Are you serious? I swear, God. So you can't have security. You can't. No you security. Can't. No police. No bulletproof car or no vest. They want to kill you, bro. I just take life for what it is. Fuck it. They trying to get they you killed. Though. They be trying to shit. I already told my brothers that though, but that what they be on though. They don't really be. They don't. They don't. They don't. I guess they want to see me dead though. I ain't gonna lie. They want, to, but it, I ain't I ain't going nowhere. You scared of death? I ain't done. I mean, I ain't. I'm die. I'm gonna die of uh, old age. I already had a dream. I'm gonna die of old age. I'm gonna be like a hundred and something years old. When you walk out the door. A hundred and something is crazy, Ace. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> hey, cuz, a hundred and something is crazy, cuz. I ain't gonna lie. I don't think I wanna be that old, cuz. Clock me out at like 84. <laughs> I'll be cool with it, you feel me? You think about that, like, oh, when man. I, when I, what, that could die? Well, that there's threats against you. Oh, like, I, would, I, I don't have to go out the door. I know every, every time I wake up, every time. I barely sleep because I know, I know it can happen. I, I barely sleep at home because I know niggas can run up in your shit and kill you. Paranoid? Cautious. Not paranoid. That's a good way to Cautious. put it, though. Good way to put it. I, I seen, I seen your girlfriend's expected. Because paranoid sounds like you scared of some shit. You know what I mean? Like you, but cautious is like, nigga, you just moving tight. You just on point with it. You feel me? Congratulations. Unless she had it. She had it already? Oh, she did. Oh, I ain't know that shit, nigga. Wait, is it twins? Go ahead, nah, then, bro, man. Shout out to that nigga Ace, man. Your father of two now, bro. I ain't even know that shit, car. It's, it's two so, now. Okay. Listen, so <laughs> my son, just my first son, he just turned one, July 10th. My second son was born June 18th. He only, he a month old. So my son just turned one and my other son, they 11 months apart. Wow. Well, th th that's why I think you should probably, you know, that's what, like, it, I'm telling you, your mentality for somebody who has been through so much is like, like, to me, it's like, it's unbelievable. Yeah. But you have kids now. Yeah. And I only like riding in the car with them. Really? But I know they could die on me. I don't like, I don't even like riding in the car with people, period. Why? I know they could die on me. Yeah, well, I always you ain't had no problem when I was in the car with your ass, nigga. The fuck? Hold on. The fuck? I ain't gonna lie, them niggas did give me a warning though, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all this funny ass story, cuz I was in the car this nigga. I got in the car, I buckled up my seatbelt. Them niggas got the laughing and shit. I'm like, these niggas are laughing because I buckled up my seatbelt. <laughs> but then a nigga Dre in the front seat go, bro, what if niggas get the blown at this bitch? And then that shit opened up my eyes. I was like, okay, I gotta realize who the fuck I'm with though, cuz. You know what I mean? I was like, alright, you know what I mean? So. He did give me like the, you know what I mean? Shit could happen, you know. I know shit's smooth though. We cool though. We good though. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't like tripping or nothing like that. Tell everybody. But that shit was 40 years old though, cause I ain't gonna lie. They gonna call me. I'm knowing you could die on me. Too. So I advise you don't even get in with me. But people I got around me, they be, they prepare. So shit is like whatever. Yo, you, um, I, I was watching the interview of yours and I ain't gonna lie, like call me a bitch, which I probably am. <laughs> Um, but you said Let me stop playing. You feel cursed. Yeah. 
you said most people that you interact with, that you kind of become cool with, mm -hmm. they end up dying or going to jail. Yeah. And you start to feel that maybe you're cursed. Yeah. So I try to keep people from around me. That's why I keep trying to tell you. Like, I, 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 it's literally, I probably, it's only about seven of us, seven people that I, I fuck with. And I, shit, and most of them is here. Shit. You feel guilty? Yeah. Just because I know, like, what type of shit, like, my whole life, so I've been feeling like I'm a curse since I came out my mama pussy. So it's like. Why, though? Because shit been bad. Going do, do, do you think I mean, it's because you did something? Struggling? You think it's good, or it's just like, it's know. just unfortunate circumstances? Because when you say curse, it's like. No, it's like a, it's like a curse and a blessing. It's a blessing, it's a blessing and a curse. But you know, God give his toughest battles to his toughest soldiers. So I feel like. God ain't gonna put no nothing, you know, he ain't gonna put nothing on your plate that he feel like you can't handle, that he feel like you can't digest, you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, he probably knew Ace and his folks could handle, you know, all the BS that he's been going through, you know what I mean? Like, the next person probably wouldn't be able to handle that, you know? In time, type of shit, like, like, I receive a lot of shit, but a lot of shit get, get taken away, you feel what I'm saying? So, get taken away, so, it's like, I don't know, like, it's just, like, going through shit in my life, like, being from the bottom, like, like literally from the bottom. Like, niggas be talking about they from the bottom or shit, or they be, or they ain't had shit, or woo the woo, or all this shit. But I really ain't had shit. Like, nigga really, nigga really had to grow up and, like, grow up a certain way and grow up real, real early. Like, boy, I had to take care of the house early. I got eight brothers on my mama's side. I had to take care of the house early. Niggas skipping school, doing all that shit, but niggas had to make, 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 they had to make shit work. Um, we getting kicked out. We all outside. We all we we using nest door neighbor shit. Like why they they probably sleep or gone. We using all these. I heard you say that. And I was yeah. like, yeah, that's a that's a that's a life that I don't think a lot of people resonate with, man. That's cool. They, 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 yeah. I mean, I am. I heard I, you say the story of of um like yo even with like water. It was like, yeah, that's yo, what we used I'm to saying. fill shit up. Yeah, yeah. Feel like the uh, we probably feel like the tub up with water and shit. Wash wash the dishes in the tub or wash our clothes in the tub or whatever. Get a pot, get like a bucket, like a clothing bin, like a clothes bin, like dirty clothes yeah. bin. Get that one of them bitches, fill that bitch up and like you feel me? That's what we had to do though. Now that ain't gonna lie, that's what made me. I feel like I could survive anywhere. I can go anywhere in the world and be and be good by myself. I I could survive anywhere in the world. There's a lot of people who love you though. Did, yeah. Does that manifest like your thought in terms of? I can't imagine like. Being like, you know, your girlfriend or even your kids, they want to be with you. And and when you're like, listen, I love y'all, so I want y'all to stay away from me. Yeah. That that got that got to be. It's, it's, it's hard on them too, it, right? It's, it's hard. Ain't gonna lie, it's hard. And it's like, it's hard because like, motherfuckers be thinking I don't be want to be around them or some shit. But really, I'm trying to trying to say, type of shit on some shit. I don't know. It be. It be deeper, like my thought, my thought process be deeper than what, than what people think. Feel me? So I be like, I be trying to avoid certain shit so certain shit don't happen to you. But when you got people who love you, they be on some shit like, I'm ready. I rather, I rather die without you. Like if I ain't got you, I rather just die. You know it, what I'm saying? It, it, do you think that thought came from the tragic incident with like the car and and you probably thinking, yo, they targeted me. But, but other people died, and you kind of feel a little bit guilt. Like, man, maybe if I maybe if if I was just in a car by myself or whatever, and y'all weren't around, shit. If I went, I went. But like, y'all yeah, yeah. wouldn't die too. Yeah, y'all went. Yeah, that's that's what, that's what it be like. That's why I try to avoid. Like, I try to avoid certain shit. Like I say, I don't be wanting people to call me. But like, in the end, they in. But. I don't want them. I don't. Me personally, I don't want people to come. I, I get real. You know what I'm saying? I want everything. I, I ain't gonna lie. When I'm in the car, bro, I literally watch. My line twenty. Tell them I can see. I can see everybody in what car from behind me and in front of me. I can tell you what cars behind me and who in there. How many people in there? Fifteen cars back. I swear to God. That's how. That's how I train. That's how. That's how good I train myself. You cannot follow me nowhere ever. 
I've seen, I'm, I promise you, I know who in every car. Ten cars behind me, I'm, I'm knowing who in every car. Cars in front of me, I'm knowing who in them. Not following me. Do, do, do you believe... This is like an interesting question because I listen to your music and I see your demeanor. And I'm wondering how much of like even that situation or other situations you believe is like an act of God? Like the what fact you, you still hear, like, do, do, do you believe that the reason why you're here is because God spared you? Like the reason why, <laughs> no, yeah. serious. No, nah, yeah, no, nah, yeah. I'm just, I laugh because I, I, I made something like that. I made something like that. I be wondering why God blessed and spared me. That's like what I said. I, I mean, yeah, hell yeah, you know, God take, you know, he control all this shit, you feel me? Like, your story already written and shit, and it's the way he written my stories, the way that bitch written already, it's like, however it is, however, I don't know. Shit, but everything, man, hell yeah, I'm, it's, a, it's a blessing I'm still here today. It's a lot of people that ain't here, you know what I'm saying? But. I, I heard you talk about um, just even losing your brother, and... Look, bro. We about to get to the real deal while everybody here. You know what I mean? I already know all this information that they talking on. You know what I mean? So we're going to fast forward a little bit to the you know what. So you, uh, you, I think we getting through it. The first song we saw instantly go crazy. Do it. Let's do it. When you record that? Let's do it. I think get band recorded that bitch. I, I may do it so long. Yeah, okay, okay. It was a long time. Because as soon as I seen that shit, I'm like. It's all about capitalizing. Bitch got the low. Come phone out to him. Do it. <laughs> Stop playing. <laughs> capitalizing off the moments. So it's like, I had already shot that video like a week or two before. And it was like, I was already going to drop it, but I wasn't going to drop it right now. I had another video on mine called She Different. I was going to drop that song. And then, they didn't come with that shit. Like, you feel me? But like, it was just perfect shit. Perfect for a career move. Yeah, it, it, that's interesting because it's so, uh, ooh, ooh, you know, the elephant in the room is, um, it feels like about a month ago now, um, Julio Fulio, or Fulio, from Jacksonville, someone that you know, um, he lost his life. Where were you when you found out about that? Crazy. Where were you is crazy. That's wild. At, come on. That was crazy. I was in the bed crying and shit like damn. Niggas ass niggas out of here. Like shit crazy. You shed a tear. Most a time. tear of what? A tear of joy or a tear of sadness, my boy. <laughs> what are you talking about? You shed a tear. You know who said that shit also? That nigga Vaughn. Remember when Duck died and Vaughn was like, man, I was crying. I couldn't even sleep that night. You know who he did the interview with too? That nigga academics. You know what I mean? Like academics, when an op dies. He gonna go interview the other op immediately though, bro. Yeah, I mean I peep game, fam. Cause it's like, damn, life so short. It's like you, you've experienced a lot of death. Like, I, I mean, I, I know you guys can get along like that, but it's like uh -uh. we're best friends. No, no, y'all aren't best. But like, uh, twin. No, <laughs> no, nah, y'all aren't best friends. <laughs> Yo, this nigga shot, cuz what's wrong? This nigga ace, bro. This nigga stupid, cuz. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, Where were you? So you, you were you were sleeping when when you found out? I don't know. I think I was. I was probably sleep or or dreaming. Where, where were you at? I'm not trying to be a cop by the way because somebody gonna be like, "Yeah, I over your jacket." <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we're like, like when when you heard of, because I'm gonna be honest with you, yo, it was an eerie day for me. I'm so I follow I, I follow y'all both. I think it was on my personal page, and I remember seeing. His story the night before, and it felt off. And I was just like, I know, like, listen, we all be trying to indulge in some female company, but like, the gangster niggas I know who be into shit, I never see. Like, I don't mean to throw him under the bus. Like, maybe, maybe he is gangster too. But uh, like, Namir will show up to some city. Like, why be in Namir? And he'd be like, yeah. this nigga talking about gangsters and brought up why be in Namir. Yo, yo, we having a kickback. Females hit me for the Addy, and she'll yeah. put it. Uh, yo, hit me for the Addy to the B and B. I was like, I don't know. Like, whoa, what the fuck <laughs> going on? This was a little bit on next. <laughs> I 
was like, I don't like, Whoa, what the fuck going on? This was a little bit unexpected to me. Yeah. Right? Like, that was a little, nigga, he's funny though, I ain't gonna lie. little bit. And then he kept posting more like, yeah, we here. Yo, Temple, what up? And I'm like, no, this is getting out of hand. Oh, there was a Temple? Where did you hear about it? You, 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 I don't know what it was. I don't know if there was. Okay, okay. They probably was in Temple. So, so, so he, he died in Tampa, mm. which, which I looked at. It's about a three and a half hour drive from um, Jacksonville. Um, still Florida. Um, bro, why? He, I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to run it back. Let that nigga go. And I know he died in Tampa. I ain't gonna Say again? Shit, I ain't know he died in Tampa. You didn't? No. Nah. You think he Why is this nigga lying like that, cuz? Like, we can see the smirk on your face, my nigga. You forgot the cameras is on, my boy. That nigga trying to take a sip of his drink to stop himself from smiling, boy. Your ass ain't, man, what? He died at. Oh, shit, I don't think he did. What? What do you mean, don't think he did? Shit, he's still commenting and posting shit. I don't know if he did or not. Oh, he commented man. and posted something to you, but but I think it's somebody running his account. It could be him. No, they do voodoo and shit. Oh, he probably still here. I'm gonna fucking my pop through the door right now. Bro, oh, I'll be spooked. What's up, bro? Hey, what you? Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. Bro, wrap this shit up. Wrap this shit up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up, cuz. Y'all used to be friends, though. Wait, hold on. Wait, let's go back. So, so, did you get a call? Be like, yo, hey, listen. Five in the morning, I got, got a call. call. What is this? this? They don't float. They, they don't, don't arrive. Run. Six. Yo, this nigga throw, bro. That nigga throw. How bro. was this? They, they don't, don't float. They don't arrive. Six. Five in the morning, I got, got a call. call. What is this? They don't float. They don't arrive. Mr. Six. That I could, uh, I, I that's from the song Game Over, huh? Yeah, game over. Dead, Why'd you name that song Game Over? <laughs> because, because obviously this isn't a game, right? Like, you know, this is serious, right? I be laughing, nigga. But this shit is serious, nigga. When I'm in the city, we all up on the mirrors, nigga. <laughs> nah, real shit, though. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, so it's five in the morning, you got a call. <laughs> he just be rapping, bro. Oh, no. I don't... Act don't be knowing. That nigga just be rapping, bro. He just be rapping. Feel me? I remember, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I got a call. I think I was on Instagram. I seen. You on Instagram? I don't, even, I, don't, I don't even know if I seen on Instagram. I don't remember, but I ain't gonna lie. I just seen. Fans. Oh, you up at five o'clock? I don't sleep. Yeah, that really? nigga don't. I don't, know. I don't sleep. When I look at that situation, and you know, uh, you know, I've interviewed both you brothers before, and I, and I was just like, man, this is unfortunate. That yeah, could have been you. Yeah, cool guy. But he's cool. It's cool. Yeah, I never met him before. That's that's another thing you told me out there, which I never. I never you've met never him. met Fulio. I never met him before in my life. How could y'all have a beef and y'all never met? We don't got beef, bro. People keep saying we got beef and shit. We don't got no beef, God. I, I told you, I just, I shared a tell when he died. I fuck, I fuck the fuck with shit, for real. All condolences, though, to him and his family and shit, his mama, and all them and shit, his girlfriend. All condolences to them and shit, real shit. I know the feeling. I know the feeling of losing somebody, so I know it's tough on their on the end. I know it's tough on my end, too, but I know it's tough on their end. Real shit, like, I ain't even trying to troll. <laughs> no, Heartbreaking, shit. though. Devastating. Did you really cry? Cried. Whole lot of cap in the room. Where my baseball cap at? Where the, where the hat at? Hold on, gang. Come on. Did you really cry? Cried. Hey, I'm gums. Man, I was watching. Um, hey, Tommy Cat. I saw his mom post something, and I, and I felt so bad. She post some shit. Yeah, so so she had said like, "Hey, I I knew my son was into some shit. I told him, hey, stop doing that. Don't post this.' She was she was actually really like she wasn't one of those moms that was like, "Oh my god, I just killed my baby. He never heard a fly." She was just like, you know what? Because right, mamas be doing that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so it looked like she she was kind of saying that I, I wish she didn't take that path in life. Type shit. Um, but she's still hurting. She's grieving, right? You know. Yes, she is. 
Almost grieving. You, 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 you said something which kind of fucked me up that, you know, you guys kind of had maybe mutual relations, like in, in the sense of your, what is it, your, your younger brother? Yeah, my other brother. And his, and his people, like they all, like you feel me? So your younger brother and his people are like cousins. Yeah, they down there. Down there. They down there. They all, like you feel me? So, yeah. That gotta fuck you up. Right? Because, like, at the end of the day, it's still family. It's, it's, it's a loss. And that nigga said... <laughs> His ass said... Mm. <laughs> Very good. Right? Because, like, at the end of the day, it's still family. It's, it's, it's a loss. It's a loss. For sure. Do you really think he's, he's, not, he's not dead? But the way this life is, twin, you just never know. You just never know, shit. I, I pray he's still alive. Was the beef between y'all that deep? Like, you were, like, wishing death on I know, obviously, the songs they and, and stuff. They all wishing death on me. Like, the devil crept on me. Nah, uh, nah man, I, want, I never want nothing to happen to buddy, to none of his people. I I not want nothing happen to nobody. Shit. Sure. God dog, I'm running out of hats. Be in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm running out of hats, nigga. Stop capping. Some people feel like you were behind that. See how okay. Academic stare, that, that's where we stop you at, buddy. This ain't no interrogation, my boy. You ain't JSO, my boy. That's where we stop you at. What the fuck you want him to say to that? No, some people think that you're behind. Nigga, the fuck is wrong with you? The fuck? People, <laughs> people, I'm sure, but people feel like people feel like I'm behind a lot of shit, but I'm not. I'm not behind shit. I'm working. I'm grinding every day. I'm grinding. I got a family. I'm working. I'm grinding. I'm trying to. I'm trying to be big. I'm trying to be big. Yeah. Well, like, in the fan, in the mind of fans, they think like you're like this, you know. Like they look at rappers like some shot caller mob bosses. That if something happens to the, yeah, the other person, that. that that you 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 pull the you press the button. It's, but, but that wouldn't align. You know what I mean? It wouldn't align if 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 you're shedding a tear and and and. Nah, hey, I know I was shedding a tear for real. So yeah, I don't. They had to be thinking crazy. Oh, People think me and him was like really, really into it, but we weren't really into it. Oh, God, I seen I heard y'all on Clubhouse. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm just trying to tell people. Like, we be oh, my God. Fuck God. I'm like, if they hate each other that bad, could they really be on Clubhouse? That's what I'm saying. Like, come on, we, we, we down there, brothers. God, no! I wish all of them was like, everybody, I fuck with, I fuck with all them boys, shit, the boys straight. Like, I wish the best for all of them and shit. I know this is a tragic loss for them and shit like that. So, I hope everything, I hope they. I need to get more hats, y'all. I'll be back. They get through this. Grieving, I've been through this before. So, hope they can get through this and find a new stepping stone and be great in life. You know what I'm saying? Cause you you won't be disrespecting them after you pass, will you? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. No? I don't know. Can't, can't be doing that about the dead. But what I can say is, what I can't, what, what you about to say? Well, a lot of people said he did that. So, you know. He did what? Well, like, he used to disrespect people who died. He probably did. I, I never, I ain't never listened to his music. I never oh listened to his music. God. I used to listen to his music when I was younger. Yes, you did. I listened to his music when I was younger. But I never really listened yeah, to Yeah, I used to be friends back in the day. Yeah, what I'm saying? No, not friends, but. Friends is crazy. I, never, I, I can't like believe y'all never met. You were telling me a story that y'all almost met in L.A. You ever been kicking and play basketball or some shit? I was trying to play a little ball. And what shit happened? Like that. Explain the story. What happened? Mm-hmm. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga was eating. Hold two, on, two. hold on. That nigga said I was trying to play a little ball. That nigga, I ain't gonna say nothing. Nah, I ain't gonna say. I ain't gonna say. I ain't gonna say. He said he tried to play a little ball, huh? <laughs> All right, nigga. We get to sit on shit. I, I pulled up. I pulled up. I pulled up on the air. 
But they yeah, asked, ain't, they ain't want to come play basketball with me and shit, but it's cool. So you were down to play like some basketball? Yeah. Like one on one or like 21 type shit? 1v1. 1v1? 1v1. The six. Oh. Mm. That's it. That's it. You got a good jumper? I might. What? Yeah. Oh, shit. Ask the boys. Ask Gilly about me. Nah, that nigga crazy, cuz. This nigga act. I don't know if act ain't catching the damn codes. You know what I mean? Like, that ace is speaking through. But I see that shit clear as day. Nigga say he trying to play ball. 1v1 to 6. Pow. Really? Gilly, man. Ask Gilly, man. He be... I, I be seeing him post his video like he raw and all that shit right He left-handed, though. Everybody with left hand look a little good. Bro, Gilly be doing all that. When he was on my team, he ain't do none of that. Oh, word? Fuck no, man. Gilly ain't do none of that He was just shit. out there doing cardio? Like, what, what you mean? Like, he wasn't nah, he, he, he look, nah, he get a little, he looks great. But come on, bro. I was playing the game, man. I'm coming on breaking shit down. Well, well, I mean, it depends on when you so because that's another thing. And that's, I remember when Fulio came here, I felt so even scared for him because I think he had gotten multiple he had attempts. He like, with him? Huh? He had a lot of people with him? I definitely did have some people with him. Yeah. Well, but, but he had gotten shot in the foot. I think afterwards, though. Mm. He, you couldn't play basketball with him then. Like, come on now. I was trying to play basketball before that, though. This was like... I think this one he got. After he got shot in his ass. He got shot in his ass. Really? Yeah, yeah, he got shot in his ass. Some shit. That was in Houston. Or some shit that I was told him clubhouse or some shit like that. He got shot in his ass. And I, I think I put him. I think it was probably right before that or right after that. I can't put my finger on it. But he didn't want to play. I guess they want to play and shit. I guess shit. It's, a lot of people don't be want to play with me. Like, like everybody, mom used to tell people, like, oh, don't play with him. Ooh, you know. All that type of shit when I was younger and shit, so. So, so y'all yeah, communicated then. So you, you told him, hey, let's go play ball, and what happened? I was on some surprise shit. Like, I was just trying to push up and just, like a pop-up game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, real shit, though, no, no. I fuck with shit, though, no, real shit. No. When's the last time you've been to Tampa? What the fuck? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> the fuck? I don't remember that time I've been to. One of the surprising things about Fulio Pass is I'm like, like, I, 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 see, I don't know Florida like that. I'm like, okay, maybe he ain't the most liked person, but who the fuck? Who, me? No, no, I'm talking oh. about Fulio. I'm like, who, who probably hates him in Tampa? Tampa seemed like a cool place. Like, I, I don't know, like, how it, they get down there. Yeah. But. Yeah, I don't know. Shit. Like, have you seen the details about what happened? Okay, so let me give you. No, a little. I didn't see no details. I, I didn't, I so he care. goes on his Instagram. He says, "Yo, we're having." A, he announced it way before, which was that's another thing that could. Yeah, I remember Menace to Society, bro. When Kane smoked dude in the damn gas station or some shit, and they kept watching the footage back, bro. This nigga tell me I don't, I don't know no damn details, nigga. Boy, yo ass said. Mm, I ain't gonna say it But he said it I ain't gonna say it Let me shut up Confused me He was like yo I'm gonna be at Tampa And I'm having a, a party Bullets through the windshield Can't miss him with this chop Damn I said it My fault My fault My fault Party Ironically And you know Unfortunately He was also Celebrating his birthday mm. Right So I think his birthday Was a few days before I think I heard about that Um So he was offering for females to come to like a pool party at the Airbnb. Right, these females, I be trying to tell people. Bro. So you think he got said about the females? I don't know, but I'm just saying like females, you can't be inviting them females there, bro. You can't be doing that. Niggas too, he could be niggas. You know? I don't know where big shit he could have. I seen a nigga that was with him that was hanging with you. Like, how does that work? <laughs> you ain't never seen that. Ooh. I'm serious. You seen that? Yes, there was a guy that was in one of his stories. So I go to the guy's Instagram. Mm. The guy got pictures with you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't lie, bro. This shit crazy, cuz. But I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know. Did anybody tell you, like, yo, he's over here? Not that you did nothing. No, nah, hell no. Nah. So nobody. Yo, this nigga act asking the craziest questions, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Nobody don't call me by him. So you wasn't checking for him at all? Fuck, no, I ain't worried about that boy. Really? Yeah, no, I ain't worried about him. 
Hell no, nah, bro. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to be great. I'm trying to be bigger than Drake. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to be bigger than I'm trying to be one of the biggest. Now, there were some odd things about that, that time. And it, it, it kind of it raises mm. this one question that I think a lot of people have been saying. Right. Man, I guess being in that life, like sometimes you, you just get tired, man. Like it, it, a lot of people said that they feel like he was just, like he was just. Like he was just tired of life? Like tired of living, like tired of running from some shit. No, it was just like I think I seen that shit. It was like oh, they trying to run, they tired of running. He was trying to run. Oh, nigga, say he ain't know no details though, bro. Don't contradict yourself now, my nigga. I see some shit. They be putting shit together. I ain't gonna lie. Like I'd be like, what the fuck? Like 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 he was just he was just sick of it. And and, you know, I ain't gonna lie, bro. When people have like little moments like that, like. People are always trying to come up with a narrative of like what happened with people and shit. Like, oh, he was running from life. He was tired of running from whatever or whatever. Or he, why would he, he move asking like that? to die or whatever, some shit. He, apparently, he doesn't drink. That night, he was drunk. I don't. I, I mean, it's his birthday, I guess. Shit, you know, you, on your birthday, you get drunk. I guess. Um, you used to look at his page? Fuck no. I don't got to watch him. He, uh, I mean, I didn't, we didn't DM each other before. What would y'all DM each other? That train is trying to shut you the fuck up. Next question. That was God saving you right there, my boy. Just don't say it. Just don't say it. Just be like, hey, bro, you good? I'm like, hey, you, hey, bro, you good? Like, All right. Oh, yeah, so check them on each other. Hey, you good? You good? That green. So, wait. Serious shit, though. Do you believe that? Because the fans feel like y'all really be warring with each other. Is, is, is it, are the fans looking too much into it and y'all never really was into it like that? Bro, that's what... Because you said you was trying to meet up with him to play basketball. Yeah. You was trying to, like... But, but, but he, did, he, did, he did this people around you that passed away. Like, that got to make you upset. I mean... I mean, shit. If I did somebody around you, you'd be upset too. But, right? but, but why would you check up on him, or why would you DM him and be like, well, well, they don't how really you mean it? Like, oh, you they think just, he was just talking? They just shit. trying to get views. It's it's cool. I mean, everybody be trying to diss me and shit. Get a lot of niggas. I don't know him. I didn't know him from campaign. So, a lot of people feel like when they diss me, they feel like they go against me. Then they could go big and get started career faster. So. A lot of people be doing that. So, do you think you started the beef with with who I smoke? Nigga, what? Fuck no, man. I ain't gonna. What the fuck? Where you been at, bro? Nigga, who I smoke was years after <laughs> all that shit. I hate when people say that shit. He tried to betray like like I dissed him first. <laughs> he tried to betray like I dissed him first. Yeah. He a marketing genius though. That was. This nigga say he trying to betray. This nigga meant to say portray. My fault, my fault, my fault. Bro, he tried to do that like that, but if you know, you know, like, niggas been this. What's the full backstory? So I hear uh, ATK and KTA, they were one group at one time, right? Fuck no, who said he stopped saying that? That's what people, people said, like, it was, it was always, everybody was together, and then they broke apart, and then they started feuding. Fuck. What's the history? I ain't gonna lie, that's probably it for part one right now, bro. You know, if y'all want part two, y'all gotta let me know. I don't know if this is on YouTube or Patreon, wherever it's at, bro. Y'all gotta let me know, man. But shout out to you for watching it, and I appreciate you. More videos on the way. You're new to my channel, stop right now and hit that sub button. You're new to the Patreon, thank you, and I love you, and I thank you for your support. But look without further ado, it's your boy Don, and I'm about to check out one love. Peace out. Yeah.